Welcome everyone to this week's fantastic episode of The Restaurant Show. We're going to see some great Japanese treats from the Karamas. Diane from Wild Wings is going to show us some great summer twists. And of course, we've got the ingredient chef, executive chef Gary Lang from Breakwater. So stay tuned for a really great show. Hi everyone, welcome back to a great week on The Restaurant Show, and I already am so excited about the food that we are about to taste here. Uh, I have owner of Karamas, Tom Shimada, and the head hibachi chef, Akisado, which um, I already tell you what, there's lobster in here, so <laughs> I'm very excited. But uh, welcome guys, welcome, welcome back. Yeah, thanks for having <laughs> us, we're excited to be here. Uh, okay, right here. Tempura. Shrimp and vegetable tempura. I love it. Yes. We've got uh, shrimp, obviously. Yes. <laughs> and our vegetables consist of onions, uh, broccoli, and mushrooms. A little bit of everything, then. Yeah. So it's a nice mix. It's a great uh, appetizer that everyone can share. Right, either right. Either at the hibachi table or at the sushi bar. And it's then nice. it comes with our tempura sauce. It does, it's a soy sauce based. I can't tell you all the oh. se secret stuff. Oh, whole thing. Okay. And I was like, oh, what's this made of? <laughs> And what's the shrimp sauce made of? No. Sure, but we'll tell you uh, a little bit, a little bit about the difference between tempura food and, and normally fried food. Right, and you know, living down here in the south, it, obviously fried food is is it. But this is so different. It seems so light and so crispy. Yes. Yeah, so there's two main differences. One is the batter we use uh, ice water. Oh. And so okay. that's just something a little bit that. Uh, I think helps it react a little differently. It, absolutely. And then absolutely. once we put it in the oil, we don't put it in very long. It's for, just for a short It doesn't period. sit in that grease. Yeah, huh? so you can see that kind of the light, light yeah. colored of the, uh, of the batter. As and it, it always out. is. It's light and it's airy and it, it doesn't seem like it's been soaking in grease, it, which, you know, it, it does happen. Exactly. <laughs> and that's why it's one of our most popular items. It's, it's kind of, it's, it, it is fried, but right, it's right. still, it doesn't like weigh you down. Exactly. And now if you, like let's say, I know a lot of vegetarians go to Karamas. If you want to, if you don't want to get shrimp and you are a true vegetarian, you can do just vegetables. Is absolutely, that right? Okay. Absolutely. Right? You know, you can cater to anyone's uh, dietary needs. Absolutely. Well, good deal. Okay, so let's move. The, okay, this is the appetizer that you can get. <laughs> we talked sushi last week, which I know we're going to hit later again. But okay, so then we're going to move on to the main dinners, the hibachi, which that's what Aki is in charge of. Yes. All yes. right. Aki's our computer. head hibachi chef, and uh, last time we brought in some filet mignon and chicken. Right. So this, this week uh, we decided to go down the uh, seafood route. Yes, um, absolutely. A lot of a lot of people associate Karama with as being a steakhouse, but right. uh, we do have lots of seafood. So, right. Um, this is our seafood dinner. Uh, like with every meal, we have the seasoned vegetables, the shrimp appetizer, yes, love it, love fried it. rice, and uh, just a glimpse of uh, coming attractions. I would be, I mean, I'm set like right here. Like just <laughs> that, I'm like, yes, I love this place. But now seeing this, and I tell you what, Aki, whenever y'all come out and there's that beautiful grill, ready to rock roll, that is like my dream come true to have one of those, and you have one every day. But you, you brought a baby version of it, and you're gonna show us what you do. I mean, it takes a long time to become a hibachi chef. I mean, I don't think that's something that comes like that. So how long does it take? Uh, training. Yes, how long would that training uh, take? It depends on how long, but uh, um, five months, six months wow. average. Wow, yeah, absolutely. Because I, mean, I know you have a lot of tricks that you do too, which I yeah. feel like I'm gonna learn one soon. But <laughs> <laughs> tell us about what you have on this beautiful seafood grill that's already starting to grill up. So what do we have here? Okay, so uh, we, uh, it's for seafood dinner, right. uh, we use uh, lobster, jumbo shrimp, and the scallop. I love it. Look how beautiful the scallops are. And those are huge shrimp. Yes. That is awesome. And the lobster, I can't say enough. I mean, the lobster is fantastic. It speaks for itself. Absolutely. So, okay, so what, so what do we get out here? I love it. I love okay. it. Uh, Oh, the scallops. the scallops. So you get all six of those scallops? <laughs> I love it! So we've got, you know, once again, no one's going to go home hungry here. Uh, absolutely not. I don't think I've ever had that problem with crumbs. <laughs> ever. Ever. Especially with the people who's okay. Oh. I love how y'all cook everything right in front of you. I think that's the, the other thing. Is, and you're so entertaining all the time. It's not just, go ahead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's part of... Uh, Chef Aki's training is not just the cooking of the food, but the interacting with of the customers. Of course, yes. Um, you know, our, our first rule of the training is the most important thing is to smile. Of, yes, so. I agree. Because you, yeah. <laughs> oh, and look how there beautiful. There it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> You've got, and the yeah. lobster. I love it. But I do think that is a huge deal is um, when you go in there, you know you're, you know the food's going to be fantastic. There's no doubt about that. But I think there's something else, and it is the characters that are sure. behind that grill because 
that's what you're going for. You're going for that great experience. No, absolutely. So one of my favorites I see is coming up right now. Yeah, and one of them is the volcano. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to try that here. This is okay. uh, one of those things, don't try it at home unless <laughs> unless your mother's a chef. Yeah, So <laughs> unless you have a hibachi table yeah. in your house. Um, All right. <laughs> so we're going to try, and uh, yeah, and now he's going to show a few other, other tricks okay. as well. Okay, right, So cool. uh, we'll see. Uh, Let's check this out. Now this is called what now? I know what it is, but what, what is this called? Yeah, the, the, the volcano. The, the volcano. Blanket. I love it. And it is the delicate movement of those onion rings right there. I love it. <laughs> and this is all done. And when the kids see this happening, they're like, <gasps> they're yeah. like, you're like, hold on to your seats. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a, a fan favorite, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, the lighter. Well, there would be a lighter on this part of it. And actually, we're going to have a... There we go. This is the power of TV right there. There you go. I have one right here. Look Thank at you that. very much. Thank You're you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, I'm okay. ready. Yeah, okay, we we'll use a special... Oh, there's something Japan, special. Yeah, Jap we call it Japanese gasoline. Oh, um, Japan. It's expensive. Okay. I love it. It's very expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. especially yeah. gas prices yeah. going up. So. <laughs> Make it I fine, it. okay? Oh. oh, can you hear that sizzle? I love it. And it okay, lights it on... Things. Oh my! This is like we need our sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why you know don't try it in your home. Yes, don't please, try it okay. in your home. Exactly. Okay. But my kids do love that. Sorry, they um definitely like if we have sunglasses with them, they'll actually put them on because they're like, oh, it's the best part. Yeah, that's definitely one of our favorites. And uh, also, Aki can do uh, some some good tricks with the spatula and so forth. And, which is uh, yeah, which is always that part at the end, which I love to see. Yeah. And now again, this is all. Please tell me one more time. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see that thing. That oh, is awesome. Okay. Let me see you. <laughs> see what I'm saying? It's like craziness. I Only love at Kramas, folks. Yeah, Only at Kramas. Tom, this is his crew. This is what they do there. Uh, and then they my, do my, these tricks. My show no do that. Sometimes I use them. Yeah. I make it fun. <laughs> it's working all right. I love it. And then he can do shrimp sauce with everything. How can it go wrong? Exactly. But I love it. And um, and of course, uh, they are open for dinner uh, seven days a week. 4.30 to 10. 4.30 to 10. And make sure you try and catch that early bird, too. But thank you so much, y'all. I appreciate it. Thank you for sharing the secrets. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. <laughs> You're welcome. And we'll be back soon. Thanks, Chef Aki, for those fantastic little tricks from Karamas. And up next, we have Diane showing us some great wild wing twists on some summer favorites.